Any moment now. My friends, tis good to see you again. And you. I was worried that the cold wouldn't agree with you, but you're both looking quite well. You get used to it. It helps that there's no shortage of fuel and heaters like before. Glad to hear it. Have you been working in Garlemald all this time? We have. Though the worst is behind them, the people still have a long road ahead. With the nation in ruins and the leadership void yet to be filled, there remains a lack of direction, a pervasive sense of aimlessness and worry. Still, everyone wants to make things better. And we're here to help. A lot of Garleans wanted nothing to do with us, but they're starting to come round. Slowly, but surely. You're too kind. But it's thanks to the cooperation of like-minded souls that we've been able to make any progress. The Allied Nations continue to send supplies, which allow us to meet basic needs such as food and shelter. Meanwhile, Ulyss and a number of soldiers have begun a restoration initiative, with more and more volunteers joining by the day. Like Alphano said, they've got a long road ahead of them. But we'll get there together, one step at a time. But enough about events here. What brings you to us? And with new company, besides? This may take rather a long time to explain, but bear with me. The Thirteenth? After travelling to the edge of existence, I thought you'd keep your escapades closer to home for a while. But I suppose there's no stopping you. Not that I'm one to talk, of course. The heart of an adventurer cannot be denied. You could have at least invited me, too. Surely there was room enough for me and Grahar in the Undersea Vault. I know, I know. I only meant to tease. <laughs> Mostly. But on a more serious note, are we sure it's wise to keep Xenos' former avatar around? I understand how you came to work together, but nevertheless, you're right to be cautious. I'm a void scent, after all. But do not conflate me with Xenos. To recall my time in his service, it... angers me. Is that so? I think we'll get along just fine, you and I. Now that we are all caught up, to the matter at hand. As we were about to resume our search in the void, I felt the presence of my sister Ajdaya in the source. Somewhere in the far north, perhaps even here in Galmald. If you have seen or heard anything out of the ordinary, I must know.
As a matter of fact, we may have. In recent days, we have had to contend with a surprising number of voids and, and not the lesser kind that occasionally manifest, but ones possessed of considerable power. You think they might have been summoned? By whom? We're not sure. But as Eulis reminded us, practitioners of a certain traditional Garlean art rely upon void sent servants. The very same I believe you have mastered. While there are no known Reapers left in Garlemald, we can't rule out the possibility that some are working in secret. To summon not one, but several powerful Voidsend is no small feat. But if Ashdaya was indeed called from the Void... Then it is likely the same party is responsible. Alternatively, the etheric confluence at the Tower of Babel may have triggered an expansion of natural fissures one could use to cross over. But I think that improbable, if not impossible. And we must assume these events have indeed been orchestrated. Well, summoned or no, we've been trying to track them to their origin. It's the mountains to the east, we think. Can you guide us there? I would, but the terrain is too difficult to traverse on foot. Nor is flying an option due to the winds. Too much ground to cover in any case. Is there no way to narrow it down? There is one place we thought to look first. An isolated village rumored to have once been home to a Reaper order. That would indeed make an excellent start. Though the question of how to get there remains. Eulus may be of assistance. Let us return to Camp Broken Glass and consult him. <laughs>